So in this video example, I'm not going to actually do this problem for you, but I'll walk you through the steps so that you'll know how to do it and then you can do it. So a force of magnitude 7.5 newtons pushes three boxes with masses here, M1, M2, M3. Assume there's no friction, so no friction on the floor. Find the magnitude of the contact force between boxes 1 and 2. So that's the force that box 1 pushes on box 2, and it's the same force that 2 pushes on 1. So uh, whichever direction is easier to figure out, do it that way. Here, also, part B, the contact force here between these two boxes. So how hard does box 2 push on box 3, or how hard does box 3 push on box 2? So the way to do that is to look at it in terms of systems. We did a problem where there was a person pushing a car. And so there was a force of friction applied to the person. That's like this. And then the person pushing on the car. Basically, we've just added a third thing now. So what you have to do to find the contact force here, you need to consider this as a system. Okay, so if this is your system, if you can figure out what force is applied here, you can figure that out. On this spot, you need to use box 3 as your system to figure out what force is applied there. So if you take all three boxes together as a system, you'll have a force and a total mass. That should be able to give you an acceleration. Once you know the acceleration, you can consider box one your system, you've got the force, you've got the acceleration, you've got mass, you can figure out what force was here, or you can use this as your system and figure out what force was needed to give it the acceleration it had. Then you can figure out what force is needed to give this box the acceleration that it had. So that's how you walk through this one.